Hello again, everyone. It is the Black Knight who's getting in here and doing a little bit of racing. And when I say racing, I mean bumper cars. Because that's how that's how this works out. And the question of the day is, what do you get more satisfaction from? Winning a race cleanly or seeing how many people you can ram off a cliff? Because that's kind of, yeah, how many people you can spin out. Like, is it... Does everything have to be Death Race 2000? I mean, does it really have to be that way? Okay, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? No, no, no. There we go. Got the, the elegy in the all-new Wheeled Warriors livery here. Check out the competition. And once again, we're going to have to ask the question, you think that's a truly a female player? Or are we talking about a guy in a bikini? Really, that's... Who's playing the game? Like, it makes sense, more sense to me. I, I understand it perfectly. If you're going to look at something, you may as well look at a girl in a bikini, right? Or if that's the way you want to RP it, or is that truly one of the, the rarest of rare things, a female player playing... GTA, because I, I see very few of them. That I know. Fairly certain Kate the Great 1958 was a true player. But see, we're all racing, we're gonna race clean, right? No. Like, dude, I was making no aggressive moves. I was holding my line. You could have held your line, you had the inside line, you could have passed. See, something happened there. And I don't I don't know why people do this. By the way, I'm voicing this over after the fact, obviously. Here we're just floating down. So I have an idea of what to expect with everything a little bit. It's been a, it's been a day or so. I'm definitely envious of, you know, people like Brophy who like, have a crew that all agree. See, I could have pasted that guy if I wanted to. And see, in that case, the guy tried to spin me and it didn't work out for him. I think I touched him a little bit there, but that was just you know, poor depth perception. So, you gotta do it, don't you? Fine, I didn't fall off. And I'm willing to get a little bit aggressive here, even though I, I know it will probably hurt me. I, I just want to pass me. I don't want to have to try and kill anyone. But when you have somebody ahead of you that you know spun you and didn't spin you well enough to get you out of the way. And this, as I recall, does not work out well for me. It doesn't work out well for either of us, so I'm kind of okay with it. Go for the pit turn. Neither of us can get there. Then you get hit. It doesn't work out well for that guy either. You turn back the wrong direction. Gotta try and... Oh dear. Well, that's one way to get a reset. So it didn't work out for me. I mean, I'm behind the both of them now. It looks spectacular, but I didn't get a lot of... Oh my goodness, then he just fell right off. Somehow screwed that up and just fell behind, so at least got ahead of the guy who wrecked him. Now this guy, I think, I think we actually did this right. We did this clean. I gave him room. He gave me room. Nobody tried to do anything goofy. I respect that. I actually hit the brakes there so I wouldn't hit him out of pure respect the fact that he wasn't the typical GTA pub racer. That wasn't anything well, but we, we kind of recovered. And we're up in the third, which is, as Burpee would say, yeah, that's quite a nice little comeback. That was me, that was all just me, just trying to push too hard. 
lap two. That's someone coming up on us, but I think I can hold it. We'll see how, how well we do here. Yeah, hard on the brakes. Slip into second. First, first is just long gone. If I could just, at this point in the game, I'm thinking if I could just stay ahead of all the fools behind me. And if they could just keep knocking each other off the track. I'm even driving a little conservative. Trying not to over torque the tubes. Going too fast, flipping around, crash. Because a crash is all that's going to lose me second at this point. Spin lighting off the road kind of thing. Now, I tell you what, given all that's gone on, I'm happy with second. Considering I got blown up. Blew myself up, depending on how you want to look at it. A little bit of a risky curve boost kind of thing there. Wing. I still don't know how that guy flew underneath. What did he do? Don't get me wrong, I was happy for him. A little video game karma going on. Okay, so the King Grumman is finishing first, way ahead of everybody else. Look at what he was using. The LG is still the king, but it doesn't have the top speed for a stunt track, usually, but... I think it more than makes up for it in the curves. But I can see something, somebody, if, they're, if, they're, if you can handle what your car does, if it's got enough handling and more, stop, more top speed, and you're good with it. Maybe something like a 770 or something. Like that. I think a 770 has more top speed. And here we go. We pulled it, pulled it down second place after a lot of adversity. Now, let's see what's coming up next. All right, here's that might be the guy who kept record. Kagsway. Level four. Level four with a tropos. Maybe it's a stock tropos round. That's possible. Maybe it's a different tropos round. He's on the first lap. Are you serious? Now uh, there's there's definitely a, a sharp learning curve here. That can't be the guy who was messing with me. It's a beautiful car to watch, though. I finished second. Time is 621, which should give us pretty good money. Seven grand. You'd think I'd do better than seven grand, but eh. I'll take it. Another elegy. Okay. The King Drop. Who apparently had less drama. And I had best lap. All right, best lap. I'll take best lap. Once I got into some open air, once people stopped hitting me, that that guy in seventh had to be the guy who was hitting me. I had to vote for Tilliad. I love Tilliad. Yep, voted for Tilliad. Didn't get it, I don't think. I think we did a bike race, bike race next. Not a bikes to race. <laughs> It's all pretty early in the morning. Oh, I'm talking this. Oh, then we end up with an on-call host. On-call host means you're not racing, as far as I can tell. Why do they do that? Waiting for the on-call host. When you're on-call, 
is your host, there's nothing you can do. Like, I don't know how you get into the game. You have to go back and hit E or something like that because you're the... Like, I don't even know if you're... If you go on call and it makes you the host, what do you do? You know, Wolf, poor Wolf Link here, he's driving around somewhere in free mode. Everyone else like, come on, man, start it up. And there's no way to do it. I'm level 360 here and I don't know how to do it. And no level 16 person's going to do it. Fairly certain... Yes, he started up. No, Polykins, he can't. We're done. We're doomed here. We're done. I think I definitely punched out on this one. I think I did. Well, I think I definitely. Well, if I was definite, I won't have to think about it. I'd know. Now I'm curious. What did, did I? Did this actually go off? Because now, if it did, then I, I'm interested in how uh, how it worked. I do remember doing Stunt Nightlife, though. I mean, I do remember doing one of those. One of those night bike races somewhere along the line. Okay, it switched hosts. That was good. So it actually did finally work out. And somehow, Wolflink joined, but then he wasn't the host. I don't understand GTA. I really don't. I know nothing. All right, custom Shotaro. Continue. How many of these guys are Bumpy McBumpmeister? So far, if we're playing the game of who has the most interesting outfit will win, that goes to this person. That's the most interesting outfit. I'm kind of casual. Just being a casual, casualness over here. Looking around. I'm ready. We're waiting. Little time warp again there. Boop. We got the boop. We got the boop. We got the boop. The boop, the boop, the boop, the boop. Rev this thing up. If you look, everybody's a little transparent. It's hard to see at night. But yes, we've actually got a non-contact race. So, skills on skills. Bumpy McBumpmeister has no advantage today. A uh, narrow track like this, that's really kind of key. I didn't have a perfect race. I don't think I made any disaster stuff, but I did get point right there. I tried to slide along the wall and they put a curb in there, so... But I mean, this this bike is so amazing. Like, I, I don't even use all of the turning in these turns. I have to back out of it. And of course, to Shotaro, there's no advantage to leaning this way or that way or wheeling or anything like that. You get the same speed one way or another. Just unbelievable. I have slid off tracks with this. I think I might even have done that here. Yep. There you go. I put it in that weird focus mode too by accident. I don't know how that works. Everything goes you know. It's slow-mo but not and it's black and white and it's weird and I don't know. He's trying to curb boost his way around. That might work with bikes, but I, I imagine it's a pretty dangerous thing to do on the edge of the cliff. Better than me, I don't know. Every time I hear that guitar riff, I would think of, uh, what you call it, Road Blasters. But I think that's the only time I slid off the track. So, now let's see how much of it I can make up. Around, see what you found. New fastest lap. I'm, I'm kind of hard pressed to believe that's my actual personal best on this, considering I actually went off the track. I know I've, I've won on this track. I've had some really good laps on this track. 
maybe I did the rest of it that well. I mean, I, I got caught on a curve. I mean, I kind of like, eh. Maybe I've always made at least one big mistake on this track. It is a kind of a troll track. And there's a lot of stuff to get hung up on. There's a lot of... A lot of very tight areas. There's very little, you know, places on the track where there's lots of them. The good news is that here I am in third, and it looks like I've been completely clean. Although it doesn't really matter as far as, you know, bumping is concerned because we've got, you know, it's a non-contact race. But as far as focus and concentration and not having to worry about protecting your position, I recall the winners on this thing absolutely, the first and second absolutely crushed that track. Oh, there goes a guy. And for some reason, that wasn't a uh, pass for position. Do I lap somebody there? Is that, is that what happened? I don't know. Woo! Okay, I'm up into second. I don't think I finished in second, though. I may have, but I don't think I did. I think I ended up in third. Oh, it was a close thing. That's what it was. And the final, uh, the final analysis. I, you know, I don't have the top speed of a baddie. That was well done, though. If you're good with a baddie, you could really. It's, it's still one of the the top bikes of all time. Yeah, on a stunt track, I can see where it really works for you. Oh, look, it's Wolfling. There we go. Let's... Can he make it back in seven seconds? I'm going to say no. Especially when you drive into a wall. You finished third. I was happy with third. Third's not bad. Top three. Podium. Eh, not a lot of money, but, you know, it's money. I'm the way victory, and I tinkle. I got my tinkle shirt on. I like how he's color coordinated everything, though. That looks cool. Let's put some thought into that. Why is he putting his phone number up? That's a phone number, I think. 506-327. Is it missing a number? No, it's not. It's just a bunch of random numbers. It's another person who doesn't think about, you know. I don't know. Now, the next one. Next one is splits. I didn't want splits. I didn't ask for splits. I asked for downtown loop. Did we get downtown loop? Then we did downtown loop and then we did splits. Splits comes up. This might be downtown loop. This might be... Yeah, so I think I, I think there is at least one RE7B race in this setup. Yeah, we got downtown loop. Splits, I think, comes up next. I'm really, really happy with the return of the the uh, the RE7B to a competitive car. It's the number two car now around uh, Bruffy's track, around cutting corners. And it wouldn't, you know, it, it's he claims that it's at a disadvantage for the top speed. It's got 123 mile an hour top speed. Nothing in the game goes much faster than 130 without a rocket. Let's see, any... We got, the, we got the mustache. That could win it for him. He looks dapper. Okay. I think, I think the, uh, the parachute uh, person is probably the, uh, the, the weirdest outfit. That might have an advantage. But we're going to see. We'll get let this load up. I'm imagining I did the time warp again here somewhere along the line when I was recording it. Yeah, there we go. Stop recording till we got to the last 10 seconds and get into this thing. Now this one I think they let be a standard race, which is kind of sad. So now it's the return of Bumpy McBumpmeister. You tap your horns, I'm going to tap my throttle. Get the most boost I can out of it. And look at this. 
So you try to avoid one accident and then the guy tries to cut you off. And, oh, jeepers. I didn't try, oh, I tried to try to hit him, but then you get nailed from that side. And the RE7B is at a severe disadvantage if it's pulling off the start without a boost. It spins the tires like there's no tomorrow. It doesn't have four wheel drive. But it does handle in the turn as well as anything. Might be better than anything. Somebody blew up. Now, that guy, I don't know if he wasn't trying to do something fancy, but I think he, 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 he ended up something bad happening. He might have been trying to actually do a shortcut speed move. Maybe it worked for him. I don't know if he's the same guy flying off the uh, almost disaster that could shunt him right off the track. Here we go. Maybe this near on center that I would have liked, but still. I thought he left. He's connected for a little bit, I don't know. I love this car's hand. Just powers around there. I can't take a lot of these cars in the straights without a little bit of slipstream. Definitely competitive. Wow, I don't know why that guy suddenly spun out. It was like someone hit him with a whammy. Man, it was just weird. So I've taken the Wagner and see now I would have I would have taken the T20 if it wasn't driven by Bumpy McBumpmeister. You can't you can't win uh, clean, huh? You know I'm coming around you or over you. Slipstreaming me and then rammed me. And I lose so much time trying to get started again with the RE7B. That it's just he's taking advantage of my weakness. There's always that one guy who's just watching. He likes to watch. Okay, that there's some major glitch with this. That rockstar I've never fixed. And you know, the Nero, I don't know if it's a Nero or a Nero custom. He, he does have more top end than I do. I'm not trying. See, I'm not trying to hit him. He had to. He had to throw me off the track. See, I should be able to go and finish the lap there. That would be if you get if you get knocked off the track. Like that. All the other checkpoints should just go. Okay, you're good now. You, you saw. All of them. Suicide. I was probably killed, knocked off the track. The only time it should say you committed suicide is if you actually go into the menu and shoot yourself. There are so many different ways you could say, you know, well... What happened there? It's like he just suddenly stopped. <laughs> Maybe that was a lag thing. It just looks that way to me. I, I don't know. Isn't that the same car I had now? I tell you what though, I'm really enjoying driving the car. I just can't. Somehow I'm in third, then I'm in fourth, and then I'm in this, and then I'm in that. Thinking to myself, can I take him on the curve? Yes, I can, because he spun out. Third place. Now it's a matter of, can I maintain the podium? Can I keep it to third? Or will I screw it up? Nope, there we go, we got third. So for, again, for all the adversity, getting a podium, getting the top three, I feel good about that. A fresh American paint. I think debonair would be like French or something, you know, it's like a French taste. But hey, if it's piss or debonair, I don't know. 
gotta admire Tyrus drivers because they, they don't have the best car going. But they, you know, they still, they're out there, they're looking cool. It's one of the best, the coolest looking cars. In my own opinion, that's an opinion thing. I wish they'd given the Tyrus a little more performance. Loser. But apparently I lost to a Wagner. Who left. He, left. he must be disconnected because the same thing happened to him last time. Did not get the best lap that time, but again, there were issues. There were problems. There were... Crashes. Did I pick splits? I think I backed them up on splits. I wanted to go duel. But I'm never sure with duel. Duel and with this crowd, I would have had to gone with the Duke of Death. At the end, they picked duel. And I'm like, I, I had to go. I was like, I was out of time for playing games. But splits worked out really well because everybody takes the Brioso because the Brioso is the fastest of the compact cars, but it's radically unstable. I I can't drive the thing without spinning it out just spontaneously, and I don't know very many people who could do it too. And I guess if everybody takes a brio, so well then that all evens out because you know you're all spinning around at the same time. But what happened with me is I said, let's see, well, can I pick a more stable car? And I was gonna use the Mirthmobile, which has you know it's probably the more balanced performance options if I don't use my brio. So, and then I thought it's a stunt track, and the fastest top speed. Of, uh, of any of the compacts is held by the Blista, the Blista Compact. And I just repainted it, do yellow. Do it, do it, Mountain Dew. I thought that it's, it's slightly bigger, it has a little bit more mass if it gets things get bumpy, it's more stable, it doesn't spin out as easily, and it is a higher top speed. And there aren't any really tight corners on splits, as I recall. It's a pretty wide open, you know, top speed kind of track. So the blisters, I thought, would be the best choice. And then we'll see how that worked out. <laughs> but we'll see. But it was it was a couple of issies. The issies were at the back. I don't know why the issies didn't do well. Because I would think the issy has a pretty high top. That's the second highest top speed, I think. And everything is more stable than a Brioso. But here it is. It was custom Blista. And I thought about, did I ever put the spoiler on the uh, the uh, the Rhapsody? No, I didn't. didn't have a spoiler. So I went with the Blista. So I've, been, I've been back and forth on putting a uh, spoiler on the, on the Mirthmobile. Because it doesn't really fit with the recreation of the Mirthmobile. And if the only time I'm ever going to race it is on splits, now I'll just use the, the Blista, because the Blista's set up for it, I think. Hey, I have 100 wins. I did not notice that until just now. 100 wins, folks. A lot more losses, but 100. And it looks like I win about 20, a little bit better than 20% of the time. That's not bad. And we're off. Now I've got slipstream and catch up, so this is I'm gonna get chippy. Now, I'm not trying to hit anybody, I immediately rammed into a corner. Now look at this. They weren't even trying to hit me, they just all spun out. I'm trying to I'm trying to get around there. Yeah, I, well he did try to hit me. Now this guy tried to hit me. And that guy just crashed. There goes in his seat. Boom! You know, I would have loved to have seen the look on that guy's face. Because he was facing me. He's stuck there. He's set up. And I come around the corner at full speed. Right into his windshield. That's the, I would like to have seen the look through his windshield. Here comes this big wine green kind of yellow sort of greenish yellow do yellow car right at your nose and there he goes 
it didn't help me at all, but I, mean, I was going to be slowed down whether I hit the balls or hit me anyway, so... I don't even know what happened. Synchronized spinning. Did I bump one and he bumped the other and that was that? I don't know. We're up in a second. The red's going that way, we'll do something different. We'll try and take the yellow side. Tugboat thing going on. And yeah, I mishandled that. That's something where if you if you handle DSC properly, then it would help you. But then they just spin out. Like that. They just do that. Like that's not even his fault. And at this point, I think we're into no looking back mode. Nice little drift. I like the blister, I really do. And even with catch up on it, I might still have a speed advantage. Because the Brioso is in any kind of great shape as far as top speed is concerned. And, and mine is only 104 and a half, I mean, don't get me wrong. The Ballista. I don't know how much catch up slows you down. We're just zipping along here, cruising through the track. He goes in somebody's way. And let's not forget, they're all probably ramming into each other because that's what they do. Baby Bump Meister, you're slowing yourself down. Could just drive, do you have to be a clown? Which way? Which way? Should we try red? You know, I wonder if one of these ways is faster. Because I mean, a lot of the dual circuits that uh, the Rockstars come up with, not necessarily, not necessarily balanced. there. Almost through. Sure, was, this was my last race. I think, I'm trying to think, it might have been a go out on a high note kind of thing because I had to go someplace else. Got other things to do. Kaboom. Oh, I had to go to bed, that's what it was. Because this goes over between uh, October 7th and October 8th. And it was like well past midnight. I'm like, alright, I gotta go to sleep. It was late night racing. Something like a little late night racing. There's the, the, the last two Issies, and I don't know why the Issies are struggling so much. Because that, that's a pretty good car. Again, it's not got the top speed. It's got pretty good top speed, not great handling. But for as much as the Brioso has great handling, it has very unstable snap around handling. They'll just, they'll just crash. Nicely done. Mm -hmm. You finished first. Yay! 101 wins. It's my 101st win right there. 10 grand for my efforts. Give him the photograph, kind of clickety clack, clack, clickety clack. And I'm spent. Good job, Briosa. No, Blister, rather. <laughs> Good job to the other Briosa. Look at that. Now, the best lap was still a 201. It was four seconds faster than me, but, you know, if you, all you need is another lap where you spin out badly. And that takes up that, uh, that four seconds. Yeah, this is the one. This is the end of the, the deal here. I think. Did we do big drop? We might have done big drop. There might be one more to go. Yeah, I think it was big drop, and then and then that was that might be the last race. I 
as we float in the clouds. Everyone's joining. I can tell you this isn't win 102, as I recall. I think, I think there were comebacks involved here. No, that was almost the the, the glitch, the uh, the crash joining glitch. Come on, launch that session. Oh, that's right. After after I won with the blister, they turned off customs. And I went with the elegy, although I, I should have probably gone for big drop. I should have gone for uh, the Shafter V12. Although last time I took a Shafter V12, I lost the race because I overshot the uh, the finish. So you know, come see, come saw. Rare that I didn't go check out the competition. I guess I figured I'd seen enough of them. trying to squeeze back into the track I probably could have held straight you gotta get back in line for the boost so the way you won't make it around it's funny it's, it's a the unmodified LG is a little bit cleaner looking but it definitely feels less beefy when you look at it it looks less beefy very well. Yeah, there's a car flying down that way and I don't think he was supposed to be, so I'm now in fourth. Don't know what happened there. Oh, this is a wreck. Just missed him. Up in the third. Wheeling that energy. Second, we're really close together just ahead of us. have the hopes that they'll wreck each other. I don't believe that's what happened. Maybe it did. Let's see. It was the last of the evening. He doesn't quite have the handling of my other car because it hasn't got the competition suspension. I don't have the off road tires for bumps. And we got this guy. Completely just... I'll try to give him the benefit of the doubt that he was in the mid-air and didn't do anything. I don't know. If that's the stock spoiler, do I get the spoiler bonus? Or he has the hammer. I don't know. If I get the full spoiler bonus, the competition suspension gives you less body room. I don't know that that can give you more grip. Whee! And the only place I could close on these guys is in the corners. Because again, I'm driving a car with good handling, really good handling, but not great top speed. I don't have any engine mods. Not neither do they, but that might be a bigger deal for me than that. Whee! 
somehow I do seem to be closing them. Well, a little bit crooked off that jump. Trying to get back down. First, second, third thing was it's for the boost because your actual distance to the next uh, checkpoint. Oh, I missed a boost. Now I got at least one curve where I can curve where I can get catch up a little bit here with massive handle. I think this, I think fourth might be the best I ended up doing with this, but now we're coming on the final big jump. Yeah, there's not enough track. Not enough turns for me to reel this in. Wee oh, man, I pulled in third right at the end. Did that guy spun out, they were wrecking each other. Did I get third? Did I steal it at the end? Third or fourth? Which do you think we got? The King Drop! Did he also choose an LNG? Yes, he did! And he's just stunned him at this point. He knows. Not getting there. He's going for the drama. Three, two, one. Boost, and then. Stop. Hey, and I got third! Alright, stole it at the end. It was time of 428. Four grand or so. Not bad. Not bad at all. Well, the guy who won the first race. Again, very color coordinated. Very nice. Two Spectre Customs. My allergy. More Spectre Customs. A Spectre. Interesting that the, you know now that they've they've upgraded the Spectre Custom, it's got more performance. Very close. Then for a stunts, it might be better. But I think that is where we wrap it up. And it was sad because they picked one of my favorite tracks. You see people, they were going for duel. Then it was bedtime. I, I, had to, I had to wrap it up. Somewhere you'll see, I think you'll see the... Okay, here we go. Good game, guys. So let's make it not caps. I'm not screaming. I've been... Gonna, guys, gotta go. It's late. Had to go to bed. I had to miss out on the duel. Don't get me wrong. I like the duel track. Very rarely does it end well for me because basically that is the dream track for Bumpy McMumpmeisters because you can just knock people off a cliff anywhere. But on that note, ladies and gentlemen, as we look at them, queue up for a duel. I quit the job and this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. Okay, so I guess I guess we just have a cow on the roof now. That's like a thing. <laughs>